we are welcome back this is question 7a if this is the first video you are seeing in the playlist please kindly go to my youtube uh, channel there is a playlist there there titled igcsc mathematics paper 4 3 may june 2024 there are six videos there for questions one to six question 7a roman figure one a car travels 50 kilometers at an average speed of 75 kilometers per hour Find the time taken, give your answer in minutes. So you need to watch out for the units. So we know that uh, speed is equal to distance over time taken. Okay, and in this case, the uh, distance is equal to 50 kilometers. No troubles, it's okay. And here, the speed is equal to 75 kilometers. Per hour. So we need to change the hours to minutes. So from now, uh, for now, we want to find the time. So the time will be equals to distance over uh, speed. Uh, that's what you have. Then um, this will be equals to the distance is 50 kilometers. No troubles. Okay, 50 kilometers, and then the speed is um, 75 kilometers per hour. So we want to leave our answer uh, in minutes. Okay. So it will be equals to 50 okay, kilometers over um, 75 multiplied by 60. Okay, so that will be in minutes now. Then it will be kilometer per minute. So this is what we need to do. So alternatively, you can just uh, do this like this. Okay, then you now convert your answer to minutes. So if you input this into your calculator, the value of t should be equal to 40 minutes. So it should be 40. So let's go to round figure 2. Another car travels 47 kilometers, correct, to the nearest kilometers. The average speed of this car is 75 kilometers per hour, correct, to the nearest 5 kilometers per hour. So you have to watch out for this. You have to watch out for kilometers here. That is the degree of accuracy. Calculate the lower bound of the time taken. Okay. Give your answer in minutes. So <laughs> that is very interesting. So for three marks, okay. So we want to find the uh, the lower bound of the time, okay. So that is what we want to calculate. So you should know that the lower bound of the time, the formula, is equals to the lower bound of the distance over the upper bound of the speed, okay. So, because anytime you have um, division or uh, subtraction, so you, ha you have to change uh, the pattern. So, if it was to be addition and subtraction, so you want to find um, lower bound of something, so it will be lower bound of everything involved, okay? So, but for multiplication, uh, for division and then subtraction, so you start with the requested um bound then you end with what with the second one there okay so because we want to get the lowest so we must divide by the what by the upper bound of this edge so that will give us the least we could get from here so this i got this from the formula of time to be equals to uh distance over speed so to get the lower bound of the time so that means we need uh the lower bound of the distance and upper bound of the speed okay so, but let's say you have something like A plus B, okay, and you want to get the upper band. So, the upper band will be upper band of A plus upper band of B. So, for multiplication and uh, addition, multiplication and addition, okay, you follow the same pattern. So, if we were to find upper band of A times B to be upper band of A uh, multiplied by upper band of B to be correct. But for subtraction and then division, so you have to change it. So uh, the upper bound of A minus B, okay, will be upper bound of A minus lower bound of B. So you have to change it to lower bound. So to get the upper bound of A divided by B, it will be upper bound of A divided by lower bound of B. So that is just the logic there, okay? So this is division. So the lower bound of the time will be equal to lower bound of the distance over upper bound of the speed. So the first thing I need to do is to get the... Uh, the bounds okay the lower and the upper bounds 
So let's start with the first one, 47 uh, kilometers. So um, 47 kilometers will be here. Okay, so we need the degree of accuracy is to the nearest kilometer. So we need a number. Okay, so we need to count in ones. So we need a number before and a number after. So when we count in ones, so this will be 46 and this will be 48. So the middle number here will be the lower bound. So that is 46 add 47. Okay, so we add the two together and divide by two. Okay, so that will give us the uh, lower bound and that is 46.5. So this will be 46.5. So the upper bound uh, for the distance will be 47 add 48 divided by 2. So that will give us 47.5. Okay, so, so please take note. So this is for the distance. So the lower bound of the distance now is 46.5. So I can put it here now. 46.5 so that's the lower band so instead of you wasting your time you can actually uh, get the one you need okay so for the uh, speed the speed is 75 kilometers per hour okay but don't forget that we asked to leave our answer in minutes so we'll still come to that okay so um the upper band we need the upper band of the speed so the degree of accuracy is uh, 5 kilometers per hour, so we need to count in 5s, okay? So since we don't need the lower band, so I'll just get the next number after this one, we'll count in 5, that will be 80. So the upper bound will be this, that's 75, add 80, so that will be 77.5, 77.5, so this is the upper band. So no need to uh, find the lower band of the speed because we don't actually need it, okay? So this will be 7. Uh, 77.5 okay so if you do this so the lower band of the time will be equals to 0.6 r so we have to leave our answer in minutes so that will be um the lower band of the time that's subscript c okay will be equals to 0 0.6 times 60 then it will not be in minutes so if you do this you should get 36 minutes so that will be 36 minutes okay so uh, if you like you can uh, convert this to minutes okay before uh, working it out but it's better to do it like this so it's pretty easy part b a train travels a total of 240 kilometers the train travels for t minutes you see t minutes at an average speed of 100 kilometers per hour it then travels for uh, t plus 60 minutes again at an average speed of 110 kilometers find the average speed of the whole journey okay so the average speed of the whole journey will be equals to total distance over total time taking okay so uh, we know that the total distance is 240 kilometers okay so we need to find the time taking. So uh, that is where the challenge lies. So we need to get something from this and this. So let's start with the first one. So we need we know that uh, the this is um, time and this is speed. So we can calculate distance here. So don't forget that uh, speed equals to distance over time taking. And here, so the distance will be equals to speed multiplied by time. And uh, for this one, it will be equals to when the speed is 100 uh, kilometers okay, per hour, that is one hour air. So multiply by time, that is T. So don't forget that uh, the time is in minutes. So we have to convert this one hour to minutes. So instead of one hour, so we'll put 60 minutes there. So this is pretty okay now. So this is uh, the first uh, journey. Okay, so the that is the first distance covered. Okay, so the second distance covered will follow the same pattern. So that is D2 will be equals to uh, 110, okay, over uh, 60. That is uh, the speed, okay, so in minutes now. So multiplied by uh, the time, and the time is T plus 60, okay. So uh, this is the second uh, distance covered so don't forget that the uh d1 
plus D2 should be equal to 240 because that is the sum of the distance covered. So I can, uh, on that note, I can say that uh, 100 over 60 T plus 110, okay, over 60 multiplied by the time that is T plus 60 then equals to 240. So I can simplify this to get my time taking that is T. So here what we can do, we can linearize by multiplying through by the LCM which is 60. So this multiplied by 60 will give us 100 T. So plus this multiplied by 60 will leave us with 110 into T plus 60. Then this multiplied by 60 will give us 14,400. So let's expand this bracket 100T plus 110 plus 110 times 60. That should be 6600 equals to 14,400. So this and this add up to 210T. Okay, then equals to 14,400 minus 6600. So if we simplify that, I have 210T to be equals to 7800. So from here, T will be equals to 7800. Sorry. 7800 divided by 210. So you input this into your calculator. So that would be uh 37.14 minutes so that is uh the value of t so for the first journey so the value is t okay so the total time taken now the total time taken will be equals to t plus t plus 60 so this is the time taken for the first distance covered and this is the time taken for the second distance covered so that will be 37.14 plus uh, 37.14 plus 60 and this will be equals to uh, that's uh, the total time if you add them together you get 134 okay point two eight six minutes so that is what you get so you get one three four point two eight six minutes and you can actually convert this to hours so that would be two point um two three eight hours okay so that's what you get so i know the total time taken now so i cannot go back to this now from the beginning so over the total time taken is now two point three or uh, two point two three eight 2.238 hours okay so if you divide this by this you should get 107 107 kilometers per hour so that is what you will get so 107 kilometers per hour so this is quite interesting so that is the end of my solutions to question 7. In the next video, I will solve question 8. And it, until then, have your fingers crossed.